unaware, Mr. Blair meets the president of China. In London, people are now dying. Within minutes, he will be told of three still unexplained explosions underground. Is that one of your biggest wishes? <laughs> yeah. Whatever they do, it is our determination that they will never succeed in destroying what we hold dear in this country. I live with my mum who is... You're a single parent all my life. It's a partnership that's founded on more than common interests and more than just a common history. It's a partnership founded and driven forward by our shared values. Those charms, the Masons. Reports on Iraq paint a bleak picture of life there. Up to a third of Iraqis urgently need water, sanitation, food and shelter. Your own personal consentment of your... Thousands flee a refugee camp in Lebanon as fighting with Islamic militants continues. On a night out in Wigan, he admits he was being abusive. News. Well, you're right, in general, I, I am a fan of News 24, but since uh, the advent of rolling news and being mindful of the fact that you have to keep your consumers interested... Uh, on how to drive more safely included these useful tips. Number one, avoid heavy braking. Mm. Anti-terrorism law which could be affected include the introduction of post-charge questioning in terror cases, enhanced monitoring for convicted terrorists after their release from jail, and the use of phone tap evidence in court, which some security chiefs suggest could actually hinder their intelligence efforts. After the latest failed bomb attacks in the UK, the prospect of tougher new anti-terror laws. But can Gordon Brown get the backing he'd need and our civil liberties at risk? This We not only work with other countries to save the world's banking system, but not one depositor actually lost any money in Britain. In a statement posted on his website, Shadow Home Secretary David Davis said, Since the 28-day limit was introduced, neither the police nor security services have produced one shred of evidence to demonstrate the need for extension either in public or in confidential briefings. Some cold, strong winds of... He tries to lift his head and is knocked back to the floor. He bites an officer's leg. As the police apparently try to cuff him, his face is rubbed into the tarmac. Then this, one of the officers... The first point of recapitalisation was to save banks that would otherwise have collapsed. And we not only saved the world, it's... I'm going to do it together. Yeah with a shared vision. There'll be no quick pull-out from Iraq. There are duties to discharge and responsibilities to keep. Prime Minister Gordon Brown in the Oval Office and reaffirmed America's special relationship with Great Britain. Great Britain is one of our closest, strongest allies, and there is a link, a bond there uh, that will not break. the paparazzi who are trying to, try, try to get a shot at me. Your best friend. So you guys were on the MTV show, right? Yes. yes. Okay, Who are you here with today?
here is, is, is dealing with cases um, on a case-by-case -case basis. In some instances when the complexity of um, a, a line of inquiry um, re re requires more time to actually investigate uh, lines of uh, investigation, then, then potentially the time might need to be extended. I mean, within this, uh, people need to understand uh, uh, the, 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 the police actions that have to be um, carried out during an investigation. Police essentially now are working on preemptive, um, uh, on a preemptive arrest basis. The kind of militant, violent, terrorist uh, extremists that have uh, set up base camps and that are operating uh, in ways that threaten the security of everybody in the international community. And uh, as I've said before, we can't continue to look at Afghanistan in isolation. We have to see it as a part of a regional problem that includes Pakistan, includes India, includes Kashmir, includes Iran. Punches the Lance Corporal in the head, not once, but eight times. The attack left Mark Aspinall with 14 head and facial injuries. Yet it was the Lance Corporal, highly praised for his bravery fighting the Taliban, who was initially convicted of assaulting two police officers. Today, for a change, the photographer's press pack became the story. The story goes something like this. Section 76 of the new Anti-Terrorist Act comes into force today. It makes it an offence to take a photo of the police that could be useful to a person preparing an act of terrorism. Move on to the papers, please. On to the, the papers, fear please. is that it will also be used to, to stop papers. photographers just doing their job. The argument, of course, is that it's fair game to lean on the rights of a few photographers if the life of a police officer is saved. So we asked the Home Office whether any photo ever led to the life of an officer being put in any risk. They couldn't give us an answer. In fact, neither the Home Office or the Association of Chief Police Officers would give us any comment about this today. The problem, though, with the demo is that it's a little too late, because Section 76 becomes law today. The national financial system that we've now got to show can be brought to work in the public interest. New world, is, is emerging. Emerging. It is, it is a new, a new world, world order, order with significantly, with significantly different, different and radically, and radically new, new challenges, challenges for the future. For the